Hello, I'm Sarung, and welcome to the table. Today, we are talking ringed mithril armor in Frozen Flame, and how to get yourself a set with as little headache as possible. Now, before we get started, little PSA, this item, the Magic Seed, is the most important item in the game. If you think you have enough, you're wrong. Always pick them up and never <laughs> throw them away. Now let's get into the armor. In order to craft each of the five pieces of ringed armor, you are going to need a total of 51 mithril ingots, 18 manticore hide, and 64 metal plates. The mithril ingots, of course, are crafted, so you're going to need another 51 magic seeds, 255 sky stone, and 153 mithril ore. A couple other addendums to this, you're going to need an additional 250 sky stones, bringing your total to about 500, in order to purchase the helmet from the king under the mountain. Also there may or may not be another item, which requires another 10 mithril ingots, should you wish to gather them now. Let's get started with the hardest resource to gather in the necessary quantities, the mithril ore. Needing 51 ingots, we need 153 ore, which at an average of 2 ore per node requires 76 nodes to be mined. And with only a handful of mithril nodes scattered across the map, gathering it legitimately is a massive time sink at best, and a means to buy time till the next update by the devs at worst. So, let's make it easy. Go to this island, talk to Julia here until she gives you a medallion. Then take this medallion and talk to this statue on the same island, and it will empower it. Now, you should be able to pass through solid barriers. If you can't, you may need to actually finish her quest and then you'll be free and clear to use the medallion as you see fit. Now that you can pass through barriers, head to the teleporter near the blacksmith and drop down onto the ledge behind the teleporter. Walk down this ledge until you find a barrier, pass through it, and you'll find yourself a small chest, a coal ore, and most importantly, the mithril ore. Now, all you have to do is mine the mithril and the coal if you need it, quit out to the main menu, reload your save, and then boom, the mithril's back. Now simply rinse and repeat till you have all of the mithril, iron, and coal that you're ever going to need. This process can be expedited if you have the disembodied perk, which allows you to teleport while over-encumbered. Thus requiring you to make fewer trips home in order to offload resources. All of the remaining resources kind of need to be gathered in a much more legitimate, less game exploity manner, but still slightly exploity. The manticore hide and the magic seeds can be gathered together, as often the two are found together. Here is a map of the spawns of each manticore along with how many magic seeds spawn around them. If it's not labeled, it's three. Simply do a lap, hitting up each spot, kill the manticore, gather the seeds, reload your save at the last stop, and repeat until you have what you need. Do note though, you will want an additional three hide for the next section. The metal plates and sky stones can also be gathered together. At the broken floating tower is the arena of the sacred defender. This elite arena is special due to the sheer quantity of cursed enemies that it will spawn during the boss fight. And every single one of those enemies can drop 0 to 3 metal plates and 0 to 3 sky crystals. Simply offer up the 3 manticore hide and kill away, making sure to stay away from the sacred defender itself. Don't kill it or you're going to have to offer up another 3 hide. Couple notes about this one. Death here can be a quick means to offload your resources. 
the arena will stay active as long as you don't kill the defender or quit the game. If you do need to quit the game, you will have to offer another three hide to resummon the boss. Finally, you should be prepared for this to cost you a lot of iron in repair materials if you're using iron weaponry, which for the quantity of kills you're going to need, I highly recommend. All you need to do is go home, grow the crystal essence, queue up the mithril to cook, and wait the then 10 plus hours for your mithril to be done cooking if you only have one furnace. I highly recommend making a backup of your save at this point using the video in the description, and then simply leave the game on overnight, making sure you've stocked up your furnace with plenty of coal. Come back in the morning, and you're ready to craft up your own full set of ringed armor. So, there you go. If you want more Frozen Flame tricks, tips, and tutorials, you know what to do. And if you want more of me and my shenanigans live, you can catch me over on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. for my lunchtime lineup. Until then, don't forget, you're always welcome at my table. Bonus nachos!